Hey folks, welcome back. You're still with us here on the Sea Morning Show and we're about to jump into our first talk show of the morning where we're going to dive into a thrilling winter sport that is now capturing hearts across Indonesia. We're of course talking about ice hockey. You may not be familiar with it if you live here, but today we're very excited to welcome the Golden Cobras Ice Hockey Club and they have recently won not one, but two gold medals in the under 11 and under 15 categories, as well as silver medals in the under 13 and adult divisions at the Frozen Face-Off Tournament in Malaysia last September. Yes, folks. And not only that, but the Cobras also participated in the prestigious and largest adult division tournament in Southeast Asia called a Land of Smiles Tournament in Bangkok, Thailand, just last week. And they secured a gold medal in the international C category. So, without further ado, let's welcome the Cobras coach, Brandon, along with his under-15 hockey players, Amar and Fagan. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, thank you for coming to the show. And Thanks congratulations. For and congratulations. And congratulations, of course. Thank you. Thank you very so, much. So, uh, maybe question. first question is for you, coach. So, can you share the story behind the founding of this, the Golden Cobras? Like, how is it like? And, uh, yeah, maybe you can share something a bit. Okay, so... Um, I've personally been in Indonesia for a while, um, part of the hockey community, just as a hockey player. Okay. So right. I show up at the rink on certain nights, I play hockey, I have fun. Then uh, recently, I started to look at what the country was doing for youth hockey development. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I realized, including Fagin and Amar here, they were um, well coached. They were very skilled players. Um, a lot of the parents and the players were very passionate, um, but it seemed like they had to go to the next level. Okay, so I founded this uh, ice hockey academy or franchise back just in uh, January this year, 2020. Oh, wow. oh. Yeah, so it's around uh, nine months, almost 10 months old. Um, and basically, my goal was to take them to the next level to uh, build, the, build youth hockey here and then uh, bring them to compete internationally. Okay, so um, obviously we live in a tropical country. There's no winter here. It's basically either dry season or rainy season. Yeah. So uh, football is hailed king as a sport in Indonesia. Basketball is growing. Ice hockey wouldn't be the most common sport here in Indonesia. So I want to talk to uh, Amar and Faigan as well. How, when did you guys first get interested in ice hockey? How did, how did you guys first get interested in ice hockey? And what uh, kind of attracted you to the sport? So, so I started ice hockey from ice skating, of course, at first. And okay. after ice skating, I saw some people playing ice hockey. Mm. And my mom told me to try it. And oh, nice. Yeah. And after trying it and practicing it, before I even realized, I was addicted to it and <laughs> fell in love with it. What position do you play, by the way? Um, forward. Forward. Yeah. Ah, nice. How about you? Um, yeah, I also started just... Um, basically, my sister was first to try figure skating. Okay. Mm. And then I saw some people playing ice hockey. And I said, at you know rink, what? Right? Yeah, at yeah. the rink. I said, you know what? Let's give it a chance. <laughs> and I tried it, practiced a few times, fell in love with it. Okay. And I've just been going since. And what, what position do you play? Uh, I play forward. You play forward as well? Yeah. Okay, so right. how long have either of you been playing now? Like, how long ago was that when you yeah. first got it? Um, when I first played, it was probably 2019. Oh, okay. wow. Before the wow. pandemic. How old were you at that time? Um, so I'm 15 now. So say, so, okay, so you're around 10 years old. 10, 11. Wow. And wow. how about you? Um, I started practicing ice hockey at um, 7 or 8 years old. Really? Wow, yeah. that young. Yeah. And you can already slide, of course, on, yeah. the, on the, an ice rink. Well, wow. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, skate, yeah. skating is a very important uh, part of it. That's true. I, I'm also, back to you, Coach, for a minute. Um, seven or eight, that's, that's a really young age, but also a good age for many sports, for, for kids to try yeah. many sports, and even at 10 years old. So, um, What's your, you know, we talk a lot, you mentioned earlier about youth development. We mentioned as well about the cat, different categories that you guys compete in. Yeah. Um, what's the ideal age uh, to pick up ice hockey? Because we do know that skating is an important factor. There's a lot of things to that, like you need to have speed, balance, coordination. But as well, um, 
how important do you guys factor development of the different age groups as well when it comes to this? Program? Yeah, so there's actually a very scientific approach behind this. Okay. And as a coach, you have to study this because when you do training, it has to be age appropriate, right? Okay. So especially uh, for young kids, actually in Canada or in the more developed countries for ice hockey, mm -hmm. kids start skating as early as basically when they could when walk. They can walk. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Well, that was gonna three, be three, three or four yeah. years. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing about uh, youth hockey is it shouldn't just be ice hockey. Mm -hmm. So say you have a week weekly schedule, maybe you play hockey once or twice, but on the other days you also have to play basketball, you have to play football, you have to do other sports because all of these things have the same mechanics and they they complement each other basically. That's true. Yeah. And uh, like uh, for example, like shooting a hockey puck, it's like it's a swinging motion, right? Right. So any sort of swing sports, hand-eye coordination, all those things right. can play in a factor as well. Right, right. I could imagine, yeah, a golf player being uh, very good at ice hockey probably. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe not. Some, <laughs> a, a lot of hockey, a lot of professional hockey players off season in the summer, they play golf. It's true. Yeah. Hey, you know what we used to do? In, uh, I, I lived in Canada for uh, quite a few years. Yeah, so and uh, it's such a hockey country that even in the summer months, kids are playing street hockey. We used to play street hockey yeah. wow. with little plastic balls instead of pucks. So there you go. So, <laughs> all year yeah, round I training. See. I see. So um, another one for you, coach. I want to uh, ask you uh, about, so when you see this, uh, these kids, you know, uh, playing either ice hockey or uh, just uh, skating, so what uh, qualities and skills do you believe are essential for uh, hockey players? And how do you support them both physically and emotionally to, hey guys, come on, join a team and... Uh, develop. Yeah, and develop, yeah, and let's win this thing, yeah. Yeah, so that's a good point you made, um, physically and emotionally, mm. right? So there are a lot of skills that are required, obviously, uh, skating, athleticism, agility, balance, coordination, all of these things, uh, hockey sense, hockey intelligence, all of these are important skills, but I think the most important one is mental strength. Mm. Okay, so especially when we go to these tournaments, it's very high pressure. Sure. Um, we practice so that we succeed in the tournament, but even the most professional players, no matter how much they practice during these big moments, sometimes they blank out. Mm. Okay, mm. so it's up to mental strength that really helps the player succeed. And then we do a lot of these things that prepare them mentally. Okay, so being under a big high pressure environment, that's part of it. When we go to these tournaments, they learn a lot from this. And then because hockey is a team sport, so obviously team encouragement and teammates bringing each other up, all of this is part of helping all the players with their mental strength. So um, for Fagan and Mark, was this the, um, the, the recent tournaments, the first major or international tournaments that you guys took part in? Um, no. 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 Okay, so you guys have I've done this quite a few times yeah. already. What are some of the biggest challenges that you face when you head to a different tournament? Is it like facing stiff competition from countries that are perhaps have more experience? Or is it players that are larger in size? Because sometimes it can be a bit intimidating. What do you find are your biggest challenges when you hit the ice against some of these teams? Um, so, challenges can be on the ice and off the ice, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. so, off the ice, we have to balance School and hockey. <laughs> okay, good point. That's I'm glad you brought one. that yeah. up. That's yeah. a good point. Yeah. So, and then on the ice, we can go against teams who have maybe one or two superstars. Oh. Mm. But then we really focus on team structure and defensive structure. So, uh, if we can really improve that, we can shut them down and prevent scoring chances from them. I like it. Team strategy. Um, do you, are there any uh, <coughs> countries me. in particular that when you have to face them, you're like, okay, these, these are the guys to look out for. What are, who are some of the powerhouses that you guys look out for oh. when you head over to these international tournaments? Thailand. Some, some Thailand, yeah. yeah. Really? Thailand. Yeah. Wow. Some teams, they have players coming from Canada or Russia. Really? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Even at a younger age? Yeah. yeah. Wow. So like we really, we really we don't really focus that they're a superstar. We just focus on ourselves, and then that's when the team can come together and then shut them down. Yeah, I, yeah, I like it's that. It's still a team sport. You yeah. can't just win it with one superstar. Yeah, I, like I like that mentality. Yeah, yeah I like that mentality uh, because you. Uh, it's more most of the times it's actually about you. Like it's not about who you face all, but That's how right. you. Um, or promote yourself and 
uh, take yourself to be in their position. Yeah, yeah, I really like that. So, uh, do you have any advices for, I guess, not to just uh, hockey players or aspiring hockey players out there, um, any sports player for uh, you to have this mentality or to to, to win big like what you did? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, for younger kids, mm. when they're going into big tournaments, they are too focused on their statistics, like. Mm. How, how many points do I have? How many goals do I have? How many assists do I have? But sometimes, if you're too focused on the statistic, mm. um, the higher the chances that you want to uh, give the statistic. Mm. Yeah. So you just have to have just to have fun and do what you can. So my advice is, just have fun, um, um, do your best, and and the results will come. Okay, I gotta, I gotta say this, Coach. I'm so, I feel like I'm interviewing professional yeah, athletes yeah. <laughs> because it's um, a lot of the answers that they're giving. Actually, um, it, it's a little deeper than just That's playing true. the sport itself. It does involve a mental aspect of it. Yeah. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about, or ask you a little bit about, the development of ice hockey in Indonesia. We do know that we have other sports on the forefront where youth development is already very prominent. Mm -hmm. And in your case, you do say that you know, in regards to ice hockey. Uh, developing the youth is already an important start because it builds obviously an important foundation. Um, in regards to hockey, how big is it right now in Indonesia and how good are we exactly when it comes to, you know, on the international stage, especially in Southeast Asia? Yeah, um, so a little bit of history. In 2017 was our first international appearance. Right. We appeared at the Asian Winter Games. Um, it was an adult, an adult tournament. So we went, we were all proud. Um, it was a big moment for all of us, but um, we weren't there for the, the, the winning. Okay. okay yeah, I, I, I'm just happy to be there at, yeah, that, we're time, happy at that, that point. Um, it was in 2022, after the pandemic, uh, we first qualified for the double IHF. IHF stands for International Ice Hockey Federation. Okay. We qualified for the double IHF World Championships. Okay. okay? Um, and in the World Championships, there are many divisions. Um, when we first qualify, we, we have to join from the bottom division. Okay. So. Being part of the World Championships is already an honor because there are many countries who have not qualified yet. Okay. Okay. But in terms of rankings, um, we placed last place basically okay. in 20, uh, 2022. Then uh, last year, um, uh, we went, so, sorry, this year in 2024, we went to our second World Championship appearance. This was in Kuwait. And that was when we uh, won our first international medal. Wow. Actually, we beat. Uh, team Malaysia in wow. overtime. It was a 7-6 <laughs> win. So it was our first win against um, basically our Southeast Asian uh, competitor. Oh, and nice. so it was a huge boost for the morale of of Indonesian ice hockey yeah. in general. So in, basically in the last couple of years alone, the development has been vastly like sped up. Yes, yes, for sure. And we've received a lot of support um, from different entities. Um, we have a league running right now, which is fully sponsored. Mm. Uh, we also have some um, ex-professional Russian players and some, um, in ice hockey, usually a big part of the development is the is the expat community of mm. course, in yeah. Indonesia. So there are a lot of great um, Canadian players, US players and Russian players who just happen to reside in Indonesia and they right. come and play and then they, they help bring up the level of everyone. And obviously over. for them to do so, they see the potential. Right. Yeah. Right. It's like wow. any other sports like rugby here in Indonesia, football. Yeah, Even t yeah. flag football is getting yeah. huge here now. There's yeah. a couple of leagues as right. well. Right. Well, congratulations once again. And uh, we are now heading into 2025. So hopefully there'll be more achievements for you guys. Thank you. The, uh, Thank you so much. Yeah. In the coming years as well. Yes. All right. Thank you once again for joining us and congratulations. That's uh, Thank, you. Thank you. Golden Thank you. Cobras, guys. There you go. And if any of you are interested or if you have young ones that are interested to try a sport that is quite unique and it does develop yourself physically and mentally, hey, perhaps ice hockey may be for you. Yes, that's true. All right, folks. So right now we're going to have a break. And after the break, we'll have more interesting stories from around the world. So keep it here on the Unsimoni Show.